Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about Solana. Now, over the last couple of months, there's been a cryptocurrency which has kind of taken the summer by storm. Uh, some people have been referring to the summer as Solana Summer because of the amount of gains that this one particular cryptocurrency has made over the past couple of months. And not even just the past couple of months, but just over the course of 2021 so far. And that cryptocurrency is called Solana. So what exactly is Solana and why am I talking about it today in this video? So as many of you may know, if you've watched any of my past videos, I do a lot of reviews of investment apps, checking accounts, savings accounts, pretty much anything in the fintech space. I like to do reviews or, or talk about those specific products. And so this is where Solana comes in because even outside of those traditional financial apps, once you actually consider cryptocurrencies, you can not only invest in cryptocurrencies, but there are also cryptocurrencies which try to solve real world problems. And Solana is one of those cryptocurrencies. And so what exactly is Solana? Solana, obviously it's a cryptocurrency, but it's also, you can think of it like an operating system that's built to scale. And so if you think about the most popular cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin, it's more thought of as a, you know, a store of value. You can think of it as digital gold. And then you have Ethereum, which is more thought of or being used as a way to create other applications as well as other tokens using the Ethereum platform. And so Solana is very similar to Ethereum as far as that goes. But one of the main things that it does better than both Bitcoin and Ethereum is the fact that it processes transactions faster and it's also cheaper to process those transactions. And so that's a big complaint that people have about not just Bitcoin, but as well as Ethereum. And so when you specifically talk about the actual transaction speed, in comparison, Bitcoin can support about seven transactions per second. Ethereum can support about 20 transactions per second. And then there's another cryptocurrency called Ripple, which can support about 1500 transactions per second, but they're also under SEC investigation. And so Ripple has not really been in the news a lot lately. Outside of that, it hasn't been talked about by a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space because of those investigations. And it's probably really hard to even just try and buy it anyway. But with Solana, it actually can support about 50,000 or they say that it can support 50,000 transactions per second. And so that's one of the things that makes it really exciting, especially when you compare it to a very popular uh, cryptocurrency like Ethereum, which is also being used to support other cryptocurrencies or used as a platform to build other pro projects and other products. Now, when you compare those cryptocurrencies transactions per second to a traditional product like, let's say, Visa, Visa can support about 24,000 transactions per second. So if you think about Visa, all of the credit card and debit card transactions that they support on a daily basis, there's probably millions, if not even possibly billions of different individual transactions going on over the course of a day. And so Solana has the ability to support twice as many transactions as Visa. Now that's really crazy when you think about it from a cryptocurrency perspective, uh, especially if you don't really know much about cryptocurrency. You're like, you know, why wouldn't other companies use this or why wouldn't Visa themselves use the blockchain or use Solana specifically as a already proven cryptocurrency, which can support a high throughput of transactions. And so that could be the case maybe in the future that a company like Visa or maybe another company, maybe MasterCard or American Express, or maybe just some type of investment product or company might even choose to use Solana. And so I'll talk more about potential projects or current projects and, and software that's currently running on Solana, um, but a little bit about the growth of Solana just in 2021. Now, I personally haven't known about Solana very long. Usually when people tell me about cryptocurrencies, they're usually trading the cryptocurrency. They don't really look into like, what is what was this created for? Like, what is the purpose of this actual cryptocurrency? And so a lot of people trade Doge. Doge was literally created as a joke. There are other meme coins just like Doge, like Shiba Inu and probably many, many more. There are actually thousands of different cryptocurrencies out there. And so there have only been a few that I've actually been interested in. Once I actually look and did a little research to find out, okay, what was it created for? What types of software or projects are being built on that specific cryptocurrency? Because if it's not 
something that's going to be able to support some other function, you know, some real world problem to resolve, then you might as well just invest in Bitcoin, which was, you know, the first cryptocurrency created and what is essentially being deemed as digital gold. But most people only care about, you know, the gains that you can get from it. And so even if I just speak about the gains of Solana in 2021, at the beginning of 2021, it was around $1.70, you know, it was under $2.00. And as of right now, in late October, it's around $190 per coin. We'll just say $200 to make it even. So it's had an over 100x uh, increase in value just over the course of about 10 months in 2021. And even still, it is still maybe the top seven. I think it's number seven or number six at the time that I recorded this video as far as the largest market cap of all cryptocurrencies out there. Of course, Bitcoin is number one and Ethereum is number two. And so even right now, if Solana were to increase in value 10 times its current value, it would still be slightly below the market cap of Ethereum. But that's if you only want to know about the gains. Today, I'm not only talking about just the potential for, you know, maybe if you wanted to invest, I'm not recommending this as an investment. But the reason that I'm really interested in it is how it could support other financial applications. And so one of the main projects built on top of Solana is Serum. Now Serum is an order book built on the Solana blockchain. Now some of you may be wondering, okay, what exactly is an order book? An order book is an electronic list of buy and sell orders. And so if you think about a list of buy and sell orders, what could that be used for? Of course, when you're investing, when you're buying stocks, especially let's say you're using TD Ameritrade, and you can look at the different uh, buy and sell orders or the different ask and bid prices, that is essentially an order book. It lets you know what's available if you wanted to buy this stock or what prices people are willing to sell that stock at as far as the bid price. So someone could create or even maybe use like the NYSE or NASDAQ could actually be supported or uh, they could put their platform on top of the Solana blockchain essentially using Serum's order book. And if you're an active trader, you know that there are like multiple thousands of transactions per second. And so this is something that could essentially support a, a stock market on its blockchain. But not only stocks, you can think about any financial applications. It could be things similar. You know, you have your wallets, which are similar to checking and savings accounts. You could have a sports betting platform or maybe a, a fantasy football or fantasy soccer platform because because those require an order book as well for the transactions that you're making on sports betting. And so as far as decentralized finance goes, the combination of Solana and the Serum project on top of Solana provides an opportunity for developers to come in and create many decentralized finance applications that could support some of the what we're used to in the traditional finance world on the blockchain. And so that's why I'm really excited about what Solana could offer and why even, you know, the value as of today, even though it's already 100 X, it could continue to rise because of so many dollars coming in once there are more decentralized finance apps and even apps that aren't necessarily decentralized finance. You think about NFTs, you can think about games. You know, if you're playing a game, you need something that's able to process a lot of information very quickly. And so I have a few examples that are going to run across the screen. There are examples of a couple of different options trading platforms that are currently being built on Solana. Uh, there's, like I mentioned, there's a sports betting platform. There's a fantasy sports platform being built on Solana. And there's even a platform that will allow you to create your own index fund of cryptocurrencies. So it's similar to if you've ever heard of, or if you've seen some of my past videos, you heard me talk about the investment app M1 Finance. M1 Finance essentially allows you to create what they call a pie, which is essentially your own index fund or ETF of multiple stocks that you select and you put them all in one group. And then you can invest your money in that pie and continuously put money in it and it will buy all of the stocks that you put in that pie. And so if you think about creating your own index fund, it's just like that, except this will be on the blockchain and you can invest in multiple cryptocurrencies at once, once this platform is actually available. And so of course, once that is available, that is something that I would like to test out 
or I would like to see what other, you know, indexes maybe other people are creating and maybe even create my own index to share with you guys on the Mobile Money Nation. And so what I have going across the screen, these are just a few examples. Again, you can have your own trading platform. You have decentralized exchanges, essentially like a trading app. You have games that you can create. You could even create a social media network or an instant messaging platform on Solana. Like the sky is the limit. There are new projects coming out all the time. If you go to the Solana website, and I'll have a link in the description below so you can check it out, you can look at their ecosystem and you can, and they actually even have hackathons where people are bringing out their new projects and they can win money if people vote for their specific project as far as projects that they like or would like to come out. And so that gives those creators, those developers who are creating those projects, the opportunity to win funds to help support creating that and building out the platforms that they want to build out on the Solana blockchain. And so if I could compare Solana to something traditional, something that maybe you're already used to, I kind of think of Solana like the Windows operating system from Microsoft. And so if you think about it, Windows operating system or even the iOS or the Android operating system, it is just a background software that allows other people to create different applications on top of it. And so if you think about Microsoft back in the 1990s, there weren't as many applications being built on Windows. It was a new operating system. It was new even to just create an operating system and then create hardware to send it out to individuals. In the past, this type of software was only available to you know businesses to have their own computers. And then once they made it available to the average user, then everyone could use a computer at home and then more companies and more individuals started creating applications on top of the Windows operating system because you now had computers in more and more homes and to, until essentially you had computers in just about every home in the United States at least. Or at the very minimum, you had access if you're going to school or you could go to a library and use a Windows computer. And then of course you had applications like Microsoft Word or Microsoft pa or their PowerPoint presentation platform that were created by Microsoft, but then you also had individual people creating their own applications and you had businesses creating their own applications and software for you to use, including financial applications like TD Ameritrade, which you can use on your Windows operating system. You can use it on your iPhone on the iOS operating system. You can use it on your Android phone on the Android OS. And so I really think about Solana itself even though it is a cryptocurrency, it is something that you can use to transact with, but it is also essentially an operating system that other developers can use to create other great applications on top of their blockchain. And so in that regard, if you're familiar with Ethereum, it is very similar to Ethereum as far as being a platform to create other tokens, other applications, or to even create NFTs if you're into art or you're into other alternative assets as far as ways to potentially either either just display information, save information, keep it secure, and to also invest in into alternative investments. But the main thing that make I think makes Solana even better than Ethereum at this moment. Now Ethereum is working on Ethereum 2.0, which will help with some of the the scaling issues that they currently have as far as the transaction speed, as well as the gas fees, you know, the fees that you are charged when you're buying Ethereum or when you're transacting in Ethereum to buy NFTs or to even just transfer it from one wallet to another. Solana is faster, it's able to support more transactions per second, and it is super cheap compared to Ethereum. And so when I look at cryptocurrencies, I'm looking at, of course, Bitcoin because it's the OG cryptocurrency. It was the first. It will probably be here forever. And people really essentially think of it as digital gold. And then you have Ethereum, which is a platform that many people are using to build on top of, to create, whether it's NFTs where you're creating art on the blockchain, or whether it's creating uh, decentralized finance applications or any type of application uh, using the Ethereum platform. Solana is, to me, the next biggest, uh, the next best, or if not, maybe the best cryptocurrency option out there, especially if you're trying to build other applications on top of it and especially when you think about financial applications. And so while this is not a recommendation for you to go out and buy Solana yourself, of course you wanna do your own research, 
But as far as the research that I've done, as far as what is possible with this blockchain, I really like it. I really like some of the projects that are coming out that are being built right now. And this probably the sky's the limit as far as the different types of uh, applications that you can build on it because the transaction speeds are so fast and the fees for those transactions are so low at the moment. And so I really think Solana is gonna be a game changer in so many ways. And I definitely am keeping an eye on it to see what other projects, especially when it relates to finance, because of course, on this channel, I talk about different investment apps, checking accounts, anything FinTech related, I talk about on this channel. And I think I'll be talking about a lot more projects being built on the Solana blockchain, which could relate to this channel and that I would be researching over the time. And so if you haven't heard about Solana, let me know what you think, what you've learned about just based on this video. Of course, check out their website, check out their ecosystem to see what other projects are being built on the Solana platform. As far as projects, if you've already heard of Solana and there are some projects that you've already heard of and that you're interested in, or that after watching this video, you went out and actually looked up, make sure you leave a comment below about the specific projects that you're interested in or that you found interesting when you did your own research. And what types of applications would you wanna see built on Solana, even if you haven't heard of Solana or if you haven't looked into any individual projects yourself, what types of projects would you be interested in in the DeFi or in the, even in traditional finance being brought to DeFi space. So of course, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button if you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.